Greetings guys, this is Tokrab and today I'm going to show you a replay in the WZ-131, the tier 7 Chinese light tank. And this has been one of my best games ever in a light tank. So what I'm going to do, I've platooned up with uh, one of my friends, Crazy Driver. And normally I would go onto the eastern side of this map, but my results were not the best in the last few games that I've tried to go to the east. So I thought... Why not go to the west for once? So what I do, I go into this bush, uh, just like this ELC AMX is doing, because I uh, have seen a lot of light tanks doing this as well. Activating my binoculars and camo net, so that I can spot some enemy tanks. So I wait until they're behind the bush of the tree, and I can fire without getting spotted. Now this guy is in the open again, so I will get spotted if I fire now. But this guy is also behind the bush, I fire, I don't get spotted. But I know that he's going to be in the open again. I want to shoot him again. But he's not behind the bush. So it's very likely that it gets spotted now. And I do. So I pull back. So what is the situation right now? An LTTB and a comet of the enemy team have rushed towards this position right here. They're no threat at the moment. But uh, it's very likely that they're going to spot all of my camping heavies uh, back here. So I have to be careful. But I don't want to put my attention to that right now. There's a lot of enemy tanks in the middle of the map. So I'm just going to support my team by shooting these guys all in the side. And this is free damage. So why wouldn't you shoot? I guess. Also my platoon mate Crazy Driver who went to the eastern side of this map. Is also opening fire on these guys. So um, have a shot for the kill of the M6. And I take him out. So now there's this KV-85 in the middle. And I can take shots at him. But I'm still um, taking attention towards map. Because look there's a lot of enemy tanks on this flank. And I can see that they've taken out my Chiri and another tank. So I thought okay I'm not going to win this engagement. Even though there are still a lot of heavy tanks right here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go towards the other flank and try if I can support my team from there. Because there was no way I was going to have a good engagement on the enemy on the other flank. But I do want to re-engage because there's a lot of enemy tanks there. I want to put one shot into the tiger when I pass. I do. I'm going to take cover behind this house. So right now I'm just planning of what my next move will be. So... For that I'm going to pause the game and let's take a look at the map. Um, this is an assault game on Erlenburg and it is very likely because the enemy have rushed one flank that they will go all the way around to rush in towards my base. So what will my allies do to counter that? They will of course all gather around these positions to try and shoot them as they try to cross this bridge or this position right here. So what I find is that that doesn't work. Uh, out all too well so what I think okay maybe the right thing to do at this moment is to go all the way around and try to support my team from these positions over here so that I can put fire into these guys while the guy these guys are firing at the enemy and occupy them so what I do want to do is kill this tiger first because I don't want him running around here so I tell to Crazy what my plan is and he comes down uh, driving from the hill. I wait until he arrives a little bit. Until he catches up. And then I go after this tiger and I tell, okay, let's just kill this guy, man. I've got a plan. I need to go around to support the rest of the team. So what I'm going to do, I take the kill on the tiger. And I can see that uh, my team is holding on quite well. So what I hope is that my team can hold on for just long enough so that I will arrive at the other side of the map in time to um, get some shots off uh, before the enemy rush into our base. And now the great mobility of this tier 7 Chinese light tank comes in very handy. I can drive so quickly all the way around. And I'm just keeping attention towards my allies to see what is happening around me. The enemy team have gathered all around there. So they should um, be putting a lot of shots into the, my allies right there. So I do want to go uh, there and support them as quickly as I can. Do you have to watch out though because the T25-2 and the Firefly have lost me spotted right there. But I am very sure that they have also pushed through with their allies. 
so I'm not really um, scared of the T25 2 or the Firefly at this moment. But then I can see there's an LTTB right in the open there. I do want to take him out because he's a really dominant tier 7 light tank in uh, a very good matchup. So it would be very nice to kill this guy. Put one shot into him. I tracked him with my first shot and I take him out with the third one. Just on time because the enemy team have just started their rush and this T25-2 is in right in the open. And I can just put him out of his misery right um, after that. But I do get spotted for that so I do want to get into cover to quickly avoid enemy fire. And I can just start opening fire on all of these enemy tanks that are back here. Oh my god what a snack for this tank. So also T-34, very juicy target. He's got a really weak hull armor, so even my 159mm of penetration is enough to go through this, even at this distance. So now they're all unspotted and I think to myself, okay, I need to go closer and try to spot them for my team, even as putting damage into them. So I go around the left way uh, of these buildings because I have more cover when I go this way. And I'm a lot safer because I can run away more easily would that um, be an opportunity or uh, would that be needed in the future of this game. But doesn't really matter at the moment because we have a side of a T-34 here. Oh my god, these are some really juicy shots. And I tracked him with the first shot. Oh, and we set him on fire as well. This is just an easy pickup kill. 5 kills, 3400 damage. This has been a very, very good game so far for a tier 7 light tank. Mental. Tried to put some shots into this firefly, but it's very likely that he has moved, and he has. So I'm going to shoot these guys here again. Big Panther gets into cover, and this KV4 looks like he's going to come out. But. Uh, I can't rely on my penetration at the moment to get through this KV-4, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and get closer again, because the enemy tanks are unspotted again, and Crazy is also opening fire on the KV-4, so what I do, I load my first heat rounds of the game to uh, make sure that I kill this KV-4. So the first shot flies through, and the second one does as well. 4,000 damage and a Top Gun medal secured at this moment. 4 AP shells left, 8 heat shells left. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to get even closer to spot the enemy again. See if I can spot the IS-3. I do, and I don't get spotted myself, which is really nice. Uh, realizing that I can't really penetrate the IS-3 from this angle, I decide to lo load a heat round again. Unfortunately it bounces, so I decide, okay, let's try to uh, get him towards an from another angle. I want to go um, around him so that I can have some shots at the Yak Panther as well. I do keep my heat shells loaded here because I am not sure if I'm going to shoot the Yak Panther or the Ice 3 first. And I can see that the LTTB who has uh, remained is getting killed by my allies. But I do get to shoot the Yak Panther first. It's a bit of a waste of a heat round. But I have to put one shot in. So I quickly load an AP shot again. To take out the Yak Panther. And I'm going to loot my heat shells again. To engage this last Ice 3. And I've got 7 kills at the moment. Oh my god. And now this guy is occupied by the E25 on my team. Really well done. So I decide okay let's just go in. Let's just go in mate. And this has been the only health I have lost the entire game by the Ice 3 ramming me. The only health I have lost in the entire game. So, this is going to be my Redley Walter skill if I manage to kill him. I put one more shot into him. Ice 3 misses. Oh my god, this is really intense. Oh my god, he drives out in the water. Okay, just just shoot him. Just shoot him. No problem at all. Just shoot him. Why, why, why can't I fire? Why? What, what is happening? Why can't I fire? And that is because my gun is touching water. And I forgot that you cannot shoot um, your gun when uh, yeah, your gun is touching water. So that is really unfortunate for me. 
and the E25 on my team does the right thing. He jumps right on him because he only had 15 health left. Taking my, yeah, taking what should have been my 8th kill because I totally deserved to get that kill. I circled him all on my own. But anyway, I made this mistake because I thought it was, f yeah, I forgot that you couldn't fire your gun underwater. So, that's pretty sad. I contacted him after game and I thought and I asked him why he didn't give me the kill and he said that he was really sorry and didn't see that I had a Redley Walters opportunity but anyway we've carried this game very well my platoon mate this very good E25 player and me of course with my great game of 7 kills and 5000 and 56 damage so let's now take a look at the stats we achieved in this game so guys, we're looking at the stats of the game I just showed you and unsurprisingly this was an ace tanker in the WZ131. I got a uh, fire for effect token as I did more uh, damage than the hit points of my vehicle. I think that is a target sniper, I don't really know what that second token is. A bruiser token, the high caliber medal in a tier 7 light tank for doing 5000 damage, a top gun medal and a tank sniper medal because most of that damage has been done from a high distance. And you won't believe this, 3830 experience earned in this game. This was for my double because this was the first game I have played on that day. Oh my god and what a game it was. So guys as we have a look at the team scores at the moment we can see that I did. 5096 damage in total I got seven kills with a whopping 1915 base experience holy shit <laughs> that was more experience by far than anyone was able to do also I did more damage than the top tier heavy tank on the enemy team who did five uh, of four no three thousand five hundred and sixty seven damage that which is just mental it's it's just man i fired 38 shots of which 34 hit and 28 penetrated doing a total of 5000 at 96 damage and from a distance i did 3611 damage i have received no shots whatsoever this game the only damage that i took was ramming damage from that is3 uh, at the end when i was circling him this was just purely perfect uh, light tank play uh, I spotted five enemy vehicles and I have uh, engaged ten in total and destroyed seven of them in this game I didn't really do any spotting or assistance damage at all I really was the fighter in this game but I do have to travel almost three kilometers to get around the whole map and support where I could and do this monstrous amount of damage I earned 45,749 credits this game but I only made 500 credits profit because I had to fire a lot of heat shells at the end against the IS-3 and the KV-4 but I think that was totally worth it in my opinion. So guys just to highlight I love this WZ-131 although there have been introduced new tier 7 lightings into the game I don't think that the Chinese lightings have been left in the dust at all. Um, they are just great tanks and I can't wait to pick up the WZ-132, the tier 8 Chinese light tank. But for now I have to make an announcement because I am going to make another tank review of this tank. I can't wait to share you, um, yeah, with you my opinion about this tank. I really look forward to reviewing it for you guys and I haven't made a tank review in a long time but they do take me a very long time to make. So that is why I most of the time only make reviews or big montage videos during the holidays. But then you guys now know that there is a big tank review coming up about the WZ-131. I absolutely love and adore this tank. I recommend it to everyone. This is a very good light tank to uh, start and learn playing light tanks with. The only disadvantage is that you have to get past the... Uh, 5916. The 5916 is a pretty hard light tank to master because it has such a low armor penetration value on its standard rounds. 
But when you get towards this WZ 131, then, um, all the problems are just gone and you're going to love this tank. So if you like this video, please let me know in the comments uh, and maybe leave a like if you want me because I did put a lot of time in making this video. I would also love to know um, if you guys have any other opinion about the WZ 131 or maybe your opinion about this game. And um, that's pretty much all of it today. I hope you like this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.